Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I'm out here at Superstition Mountain Golf Course with Dr. Scott Lynn is over on the computer on the GoPro and Milo lines and we have the swing catalyst plate. Milo, everybody, a lot of times they're talking about, man, I just can't get any rotation in my golf swing. What stops people from getting rotation? Like even, if, let's say that physically they can do it, but they're not. What? Powering things the wrong way. A lot of times it's, they're using their hands and arms to make the club go so their, their body won't go. Um, so it's got to figure out how to get torque into the ground and forces into the ground that keep you keep everything turning. Okay. So Scott, why don't you come out here because you, you know this better than either of us. I'm going to put this long sleeve shirt on but I'm going to leave a sleeve out I think. Is what I'm do. <laughs> Don't do what? You're melt yourself today. That That's okay. It'll only be on for a minute. Turn into a big pile of sweat. <laughs> yeah. All right, Scott. So what? What is this? What am I doing with this? So I saw this uh, Jason Carbone, uh, one of the step, step up here. ambassadors, yeah. um, showed me this drill. So to, in order to use your body to get your arms moving, you want to basically. You you said yesterday you want to like put shots in your arm to make it dead. Right? Yeah, yeah. And uh -huh. so instead of doing that, just take your arm out of the sleeve. Okay. And like put your arm inside like this. Mm -hmm. So just let that sleeve hang. Now get in your golf posture, you don't even need this. Okay. And so now use your lower body to make that sleeve sling towards the target. Thank you. Get some speed, there you go. That's oh, so then, different from this normal well, yeah. You really gotta turn, <laughs> turn back if you wanted to. Yeah. There you go. See how he, wow. he goes that way at yeah. the end? Totally. And that's what we were looking for in your golf swing, right? To get more turn through it. Yeah, yeah, because the good, the good ones, I'm over here yeah. watching it. Yeah. The bad, the real bad ones, I'm like here. And I'm like, try, the, the I mean, do your old swing. See what the sleeve does. Do your okay. like saggy lead leg. It doesn't have much. Left. <laughs> not, not, not. Jerk so. <laughs> yeah. It's certainly not being towed either. Right. Do my old swing. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's it. There. That's, yeah, that's it. it. So that. Yeah, there's not much. If I'm not thinking about golf swing, I'm just trying to move this thing. I'm yeah. gonna go. There you go. Yeah. Okay, let's try to translate that into a golf shot. That's exactly what when we were talking the other day about feeling like you're gonna throw the club over the left field wall. Right. Okay. Same. That's kind of the same idea. You, that left shoulder's getting all the way around on that. Yeah. Before Milo was talking about split grip here and then taking it and throwing it over there. All right, so I got that feeling in there. You ready, Scott? Yeah. Scott kind of knows the typical forces I put on it. I'm going to really feel like, here, there you go. That thing's <laughs> hanging there. Yep, I'm ready. Okay. That felt pretty good. Yeah, the tee was, would have landed right on top of Scott's head. Yeah, it's right here on the umbrella. Oh, like protection umbrella. <laughs> Got the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that pressure ship better. Yep, the mat, you can see the mass didn't quite get all the way. Yeah, so we got 85, that's got good. That's a sweet spot. Yeah. Um, brakes could use some work there. Okay. And then uh, torque's good though, torque's in the tour average. So right it made the, my torque is usually half the tour average. Yeah, so that's really so good. So getting into the tour average is good. And that's... Oh, we, and we can see in the knee just drifted out past the ankle. Yeah, now, huh? mm -hmm. we lost some brakes and we lost some like down. So the down was really slow. That was almost like the down you had with your, when you preset your... Oh yeah. When my drop happened before I even took before it back. I even took the club away, yeah. Okay, so we're just going to try to blend that with some so you want to see the the, the the torque got better doing it that way, which is kind of what this video is about, the sure. rotation. But what can what can make? I just need to get those breaks all happening at once, rather than like I mean, starting all those and elements. Is not getting too much into your trail side, getting the drop happening sooner. Right. All right so I'm gonna flip flop this one Over here. So 
here, the same thing. I want to take that sleeve and I want that sleeve to feel like it's drooping straight to the ground. Then I want to feel like, I thought about this when we were first doing stuff via Instagram, Milo. Imagine if that sleeve was there and there was a hook on it. And I went down and grabbed the car battery and then I needed to pull that car battery off the ground. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One down of the keys though is, oh, that was pretty good. Yeah. This, this can't go straight up. Okay. You won't get the, you won't get it moving quite right. Right. Up and around. Yeah. It's gotta go. I feel like that's good. That's pretty good. Okay, here we go. Down and then. Oh, that was good, Scott. Oh, that's killed. That was a good one. I felt like it just didn't stop. Right, you fell towards your toes too. Mm -hmm. Alright. Like I, f I fell over rather than straight right backwards. Over the minute, yeah. Is that bad? I mean, Generally, it's not going to be your best. There's a double bump, but you got a good, solid break there. Like that's a lot. You're 16 percent or so, right there. Yeah. So, timed really well, just before we get to impact. Torque still in the tour average. You got the little negative blip, not as big as you were doing before when you're concentrating okay. on the blip. And then the pressure shift was real good. Oh, good. It was like 82. Flashy. You're an odd character. Yeah, yeah, you are. Of course. <laughs> let's try. Let's try another. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we're going sleeve down. If I had the sleeve on, I'd go. There you go. That's what I want. How was that one, Scott? That was our final one. We got a minute to go. So a minute so analysis. See. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slip you right did in. get a lot of pressure to the trail side, so you see your mass. We lost the mass part of that, but so I got like 90 something. 99, yeah. Okay. Um, but then you got a good push off horizontal, which you always get. But then this was the key: the brakes. Mm -hmm. One spike, but a little late. But still, before impact, you still got a lot more than you had before. 15%. That was good. And then the torque just below the tour average is okay. Mm -hmm. But you didn't get that double spike break where you break and then stop and then break again. So that was a little more efficient there. And then go all the way to the finish. We can see right there, then the kind of momentum of it took me over on that yeah. side. Yeah, and I would prefer that foot to go back here and not like yeah. the yeah. first one that actually yeah. went towards the target. That one was yeah. a little back, but back there would be better. When you're standing with your feet back, both even with the tra the back part of the plate, that's when you've, you've done the brakes properly. You can see a lot more of this stuff at bebettergolf.net slash premium in the driving force, which is a, a big project that the three of us did. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye. I'm really excited to announce the release of the driving force. It's an over eight part series with Milo Lines and Dr. Scott Lynn. What I did was I took the best, most consistent and most powerful all together one package driver that I have ever met. Um, killed that golf ball. Milo Lines, who's also a coach that teaches players on the PGA Tour, women on the LPGA Tour, and satellite tours around the world. But he's also, he can do it. Like, he really is amazing, his consistency. And it was measured that Milo is one of the most consistent ball strikers in the world. And I took him and I combined him with Dr. Scott Lynn, who's the world's foremost expert in ground reaction forces in the golf swing. I've never seen a PGA Tour player have that much pressure left the whole time. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Probably around 50-50 is the least amount of right pressure shift I've seen. He's the director of research for Swing Catalyst, which is a force plate. I put them together and we really hacked into what is the thing that makes some golfers just so consistent while other golfers really struggle and really inconsistent. And what we came down to is it really matters what you're doing into the ground. It's called a ground force pattern. So it really matters what your ground force pattern is, the sequence that you're using in that ground force pattern, and then also the amplitude of what you're, what you're doing in all those pieces. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. It's really actionable advice that we put into these videos about how you can use this new information that's really just coming out how you use the ground has never been able to be measured this way before. And it's shown us that that's really the key in what makes certain golfers so consistent is they load, they drop, they catch, and they use the brakes in a certain way again and again and again. Whereas inconsistent golfers, they're always searching. They're always doing something 
to try to kind of find the ground or they're floating above it. They're not using the ground. Whether you're fast twitch or slow twitch or anywhere in between, all types of players can bomb it as long as they use a ground force pattern that works for them. And we have a process in this series of videos that show you, okay, this is how you figure out what's gonna work best for you. So it's called the driving force. It's over at bebettergolf.net slash driving force. You're gonna see a trailer for it over there. And then also I've, I put up some free content on that site as well, if you wanna see some more about it. But I'm really proud, proud about it. I know that Milo, is really proud to present this information to everybody. And the reaction so far for people that have gotten it during the pre-sale has been like really, really great. So it's, it's really fun to be involved in something where people are starting to see their golf swing in a whole new way. This is why I've always felt like I've never really been in connection with my golf swing. And this is why sometimes I really do feel in connection with the golf swing. So it goes beyond just feeling a certain way a certain day and getting into like, okay, what should I be doing? And that's really where I think the power is in the driving force is gives the players the ability to level up their driver from always looking for something different to having a game plan and knowing like, okay, this is what I should be doing. This is what the best players in the world are doing, but this is what I should be doing. Thanks for watching everybody. Go check that out. It's over at bebettergolf.net slash the driving force. I think you're gonna like it a lot.